Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our family project of this deck transformation. This is our backyard deck and this deck has really needed some attention ever since we bought the house really. Um, as you can see, Matt did replace some of the floorboards that were completely broken. And here you can see that the paint was really, really starting to chip in many places. So we decided to strip this deck and paint it and kind of give it a new look. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this and let's get started. So first Matt is wiping away or sweeping away any um, leaves or debris and he bought this like chemical um, stripper that was supposed to strip all of the paint. Um, he is applying it and he is now power washing it off. We had thought that this was going to be the way of stripping, but as you can see, he was not successful with this method. So he's applying another coat in hopes that this one will work. And unfortunately, it did not as well. As you can see, now he is again power washing the product off and it's really not doing anything for the deck. So we decided that we have to take an alternative route. Matt rented this um, industrial grade, like commercial sander. And this is really what did the trick. It was very, very time consuming, but it worked. So he is putting the little roll of sandpaper on now, and then he is going to begin sanding the entire deck. As you will see, um, it really is just getting the paint, the existing old paint, off, which is definitely the goal with this project. Um, like I said, this took Matt such a long time to complete the entire deck, but he did it. He was very patient about it and he just kept going along. So this alone took an entire day just stripping the paint, which we were not really expecting. But with projects like these, um, you're always going to run into trial and errors, I guess. So we are happy that it worked. He just had to repeatedly go over the same spots over and over. Um, but yeah, it worked and that's what we are thankful for. So after the paint was finally lifted, Matt did an additional power wash and called it a day on this first step of our project. So like I said, we did want to make this a family DIY project, so we are having Aiden help us paint the little bench right here. We got this paint from Home Depot, but it is a really, really nice light gray color. I wanted something that was modern and kind of like rustic looking and so this is the one that we picked. As you can see it is completely different than the red that we previously had and as you can also see we did not strip um, the like rails or the bench of the deck just because the paint was still in good condition and so we figured that the new paint would stick really well to the old paint. And here you can see Matt is beginning to apply the first coat of the paint onto the flooring of the deck. Aiden is doing a fabulous job with the bench. I had to help him a little bit, but once he got the hang of it, he really, really enjoyed this part and just getting to participate and take ownership for this portion of the project. I'm doing more work than you. Quick, <laughs> 
Now Matt is adding a second coat to the floor of the deck. Um, this is the only part that we added a second coat to just because it gets so much traffic and use. We gave it a couple days to fully dry and now we get to add the fun part which is the finishing touches. I added this rug, our existing table and chairs that we had previously. And then I added another table right in this corner. And again, this is my favorite part of any project, just adding those final cute little touches that make a project complete. We also added a rug by the front door just to kind of soak up any of the mud that gets brought in from the dogs. And a couple chairs right in front of the window here. And of course some flowers and that about does it. All in all, we are really, really happy with the color that we chose for the deck. The only issue that we are experiencing is that it really, really shows um, any mud paw prints that the dogs bring up. But of course, all of that was easily cleaned. Yeah, this color would be absolutely 100% perfect for a deck without dogs. But if you do have dogs and you are considering this color, that is just something that you kind of want to keep in mind that this lighter color really will show off any paw prints. But overall, we really, really love the transformation. I think it looks so completely different than when we started out, and we're really happy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the items that are on the deck or any of the stuff that we use, let me know in the comment section and I would be happy to help you. I am considering doing an outside summer tour just showing pretty much everything decor-wise that we have. Um, everything on the deck and then like the little miscellaneous things throughout the yard. Just letting you know where all of this stuff came from in case you are interested in something similar both for the front yard and the backyard. So if that is something that you'd be interested in, let me know. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family and please give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye!